TV, usually at 1 p.m. Eastern Time here in Montreal, and I am continuing with my series on making rings to sell with craft shows coming up this summer. Uh, there's some really fun ideas for novelty rings here that you guys can make uh, for your shows, and uh, yeah, we'll just get started. I'm going to flip the screen, show you the sketches, what we're working on. I have two other live streams I've done where you can see the other things. Uh, we've made already. I'll link those up in the description and let's go ahead and flip the screen to get started. Flip it around and there's our nice snow outside but it's a warm day today so it might be melting. Hi Amber, hi Clarice, you guys are right on time so let's flip the screen and there we have our sketches of what we're going to be working on and let me open up the computer so I can see the chat, see what you guys are saying, uh, introduce yourselves, uh, tell me where you're watching from, and uh, we'll get started with the rings. So we have uh, Amber and Clarice, uh, moderators in the group. Thank you, ladies, always for hopping in to help me. Hi, Corey. Hi, Connie. Hi, Mushroom TV. Hello, Deb. Hi, Kat. And uh, Haritha, hello, hello. Everybody's hopping on. That's awesome. And Sabrina, hi, Sabrina. There we go. And uh, let's just scroll down. Aesthetic Minecraft, hello. And uh, yeah, so in Poland, that's awesome. Very cool. I bet it's uh, chilly there as well. And Blanca from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Jay's from Texas as well. I haven't seen him for a while. Hi, Vicky. We're in a blizzard. Yeah, my husband told me that you guys are having storms in the States. And uh, did I say hi, Haritha? I think I did. Hi, Kelly. Uh, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Colleen. Hello, hello. Love your talent. Oh, very sweet. Thank you. And Haritha's back after a long time. So, guys, we are working on these rings, fun rings to make and sell. We've already made a lot. I had a bunch of requests, like a, a list of things I'm trying to get through. We did the bees on the Let's Get Wired live stream. Let me know if you watched the Let's Get Wired live stream. That was a lot of fun. Th those are the episodes where people share uh, pictures of their uh, work in progress while I am live. So, th so if you're not already part of the Slack group, be sure to join the Slack group and that would be great. Uh, oh yeah, they're getting snow. So Connie's getting snow too. Hi, Annette from Oklahoma. And hi, Mustafa's on as well. And Amanda. I haven't seen you in a while, Amanda. Hello, hello. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is, uh, actually, um, Mustafa, if you want to share the Slack app, that would be great. So you can join Slack. So when we do the Let's Get Wired live streams, you guys can share pictures of your work. And uh, after the live stream, I always put pictures of the projects in there as well. Hi, Vicky. So today I want to work on uh, owls. Okay, we're going to do owls, foxes, and but I want to start with an ice cream cone because I told I said last week I was going to do the ice cream cone. So let's do that first and then we'll do the other two. So Amanda's giving me nice em emojis. I love those. Beautiful. So let's get started. I also wanted to show you guys up close. This is the chicken wire project that I did the other day for Tip Tuesday. And I think there's a lot of potential with this DIY chicken wire, which is what we use to make the beehive. Uh, so let me know if you try this DIY chicken wire and make something out of that. I think I'd make a cute cat toy. Well, although it might be harmful for cats. I don't know. I don't have cats. I have no idea. So uh, Amanda loves the owls. Okay. Uh, my cousin tried to go on Slack for me and it will not... I'm not sure why that's not working, cat. So some people are having trouble with Slack. Maybe try it on desktop or on a different device. That might be the issue. And let's get started. So to do the the um, ice cream cone, I thought we could just do a brown base. I'm using the para wire because I ran out of artistic wire. But um, my preference is artistic wire, but this works in a pinch as well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just do a couple of designs for the ice cream cone. So let's do that. I'm going to bring this one over. Uh, my daughter, Connie says my daughter loves owls too. Uh, too. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll try to get to the owls for sure. Uh, let's do the owls after the ice cream cone then. That sounds good. Uh, you're on your 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 phone, eh, um, Kat? If you have a desktop, you can always try it. 
otherwise, I'm not 100% what, sure what to suggest. Maybe, maybe Mustafa has an idea because um, he might have an idea for the technology aspect of it. So let's go ahead and cut some wire. Have to warm up here. I need my cutters. There we go. Okay, so, and um, let's go ahead and just cut a little piece. We don't need a lot to start. So this is the 20 gauge wire. Although now I'm wondering, maybe we should do it in a way that the um, cone could be made with the same wire as the band. Let's just start, let's just do the 20 anyways, and we're going to see what happens. So let's just cut that. Uh, Colleen says, I was literally just watching your video with the alphabet rings. Awesome. Oh, you want to be as good as me? Well, uh, I've been making jewelry for 30 years, so you will definitely will be able to get good in a shorter period of time than that. Uh, but I've just, I've been doing it for a long time. And, um, we actually do have been doing the lettering for many, many years too, because we custom make wedding cake toppers and we write people's names on them so that's so fun uh Haritha likes the owl idea too cool so now if we're going to do some kind of ice cream cone I guess we could just take this maybe I'm going to bend it to one side bend it up here I don't want to make it too big but I also don't want to make it too small and I was going to do like I had a few ideas one was to do like little loops at the side but I that might be a little distracting. I mean, it might also work and that way the wires won't slip back and forth. I can try that. The other thing, yeah, I could try the little loops. Let's just see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? So let's go ahead. I'm going to use my little red pliers. I'm so sorry that you guys cannot buy these pliers. I don't know where, um, you know, where I could get something similar. Usually I use the Zeron from for the tutorials, but I just find these ones have a slightly finer tip. So I'm going to use these because I really need a small tip on these. So let's just go ahead and do some loops. And then if this doesn't work, we'll just try something else after. So we're going to do the little loops either like this way or I could bend them back if they're too distracting. So I'm just going to do a few loops, see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, I'll just try a simple base for the, um, for the ice cream cone. So let's just do this. Mustafa has a Slack link. That's awesome. Mustafa, thank you so much for posting that. So if you're not already on Slack, we're using it now instead of discord. I, I'm not using discord anymore. I'm going to pin that at the top. Uh, Mustafa, and then you guys can uh, sign up for that. It's similar to the Wire Makers Club, but please don't double post. Like if you're posting in the Wire Makers Club, uh, don't post in there as well, just because otherwise that's like a lot of duplications. But mainly it's to post pictures after the live streams and during the Let's Get Wired live streams. So you could def you could use the Slack app for that, and you can also introduce yourself and share photos of your other wire art and wire jewelry if you're not in the in the if you're not sharing in the wire makers club it's just mainly it's for people that don't have facebook and also for um i'm not sure i'm liking this it's also just for um uh the live streams that's what i'm trying to say so now if i see i don't like like the way the loops are working here so i'm going to try something different and just bend them over they might look silly but that way they're kind of hidden and then bend this one and hopefully it won't snap the wire because it might snap the wire. And then this way it's just a little bit more discreet. See, it just, it actually is not, whoa, it's not too bad. It's kind of interesting. And then it goes this way. I just don't know if I should have lined them up better or not. So if we have something like that and then let's go ahead and bend this one over. Okay, so we're going to bend this one over here. Okay, uh, the Beetle on Glitter series has a pretty good fine point. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, so any pliers you guys can recommend with a little, like a really fine end. I love these pliers because they're very high quality steel wire, very smooth. And uh, so it's like I said, I've been having trouble finding something similar. But um, one day, one day. So now let's just do one more loop. 
I'm going to bend it to the back. This is interesting in, a, in the sense that it gives it a little bit of texture. So we're going to bring this one around here. This is just one idea. I mean, there's different, many different ways you can do this. And then I'm going to bend this across and that way. So that would make kind of like a kind of a ice cream cone thing. And then I want to attach it. So we're just going to bring this one maybe just around here, I guess. We'll bring this one across here and twist it around. I don't want it too narrow either. So we're just going to twist that one around here and then clip it. And do I go on hashtag guess? So if you go on the Slack app, you should be able to join and there's different like quote unquote channels within the app. Uh, there is um, Let's Get Wired, there's Share Your Work and there's uh, post live stream. So you could join any of those channels and to uh, to share your stuff. So here's the ice cream cone. And Kat, if you're having a lot of trouble, maybe just uh, email me and I can try to work it out with you. So we'll see what we can do about that. So now to do the crisscrosses, I'm going to get some 24 gauge wire and see what we can do with this. Uh, hi, Joan. Uh, computer problems this morning, but you made it. Yay, that's awesome. Perfect. So now let's get some 24 gauge wire and see if we could do a crisscross thing. Um, if we stick the wires in the holes and go this way. And these are underneath. So we're going to just do this. So we're going to do that that way. And this is a total experiment. And then what if we do, like, I'm going to pull this halfway. We're going to pull this halfway. And then we're going to bring this one maybe to the back. It's going to be easier. Although I think to the front might be nicer. Yeah, this is not quite where I'm, you know, sometimes you, you think of these things and they're, they might work, but they also might not work because this is going to get like all kinked up now. If we do something like that and then up. Yeah, this is not looking how I would like it to look, but let's just bring this one up here, pull that one across, and then I am going to probably scrap it, bring that one in here. Yeah, this isn't quite working how I want it, so let's scrap that, put it at the side for now. This happens, and I'm going to get another one. So... Uh, 28 gauge might work better. I just, I'm not loving the design of that. So I'm going to go back to that later. I just don't want to waste your guys' time. And then let's try this with the 18 gauge to do the base. So hi, Aisha, how are you? 26 might work too. Yeah, you're right. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that, that at the side. I'm going to do maybe a better sketch for it and try it again later. So let's just try a plain one and see how that works. So if we bring this one up here. Okay, and then we're going to bring this one. I don't want to make it too big either. Uh, so if we bring this one, and then I have to think in terms of the where this is going to attach. And we're going to go around like this. And what if we just bring this one across? So this makes like sort of the cone. Bring this one around and give it a good little tug. And then... We're just going to clip that one and see. So we're going to clip that one and we're going to bring this one in, pinch it, and then we're going to bring this one across. Make sure it's sort of in the right position and bring that one across and that can make like the ring, but then let's get some wire to crisscross around it. I have also 22 gauge wire. I'm just seeing what I have. And I have this gold one, although I think I'm going to get the brass one. Just let me find it. Okay, so I have, this color is a little better of the uh, artistic wire, the, the um, brass. The other one was from Michael's. It's the one that comes in the three pack. Hi, Leticia. Gracias. Hello, hello. So now we are going to get a piece of this. And I just cut a big-ish piece. It doesn't have to be too big, I guess. And I will cut the end. Put that one in there. 
Oh, I should have got my water. I will run and get my water in a minute. And to call your mom back. No problem. Yes. So there we go. So now this would be the ice cream cone. And then you want to do like a kind of a crisscross thing here. So let's see what we can do. Let me just start in the middle. This kind of reminds me, I have a design that I do for lacrosse sticks. And this is sort of the idea of like the net in a lacrosse stick. So I'm going to just bring this one here, bring this one to the front, because I think this is going to be easier than trying to string it through those loops because that was just really finicky. So let's just try it this way. We're going to go down this way and we want them to try to sit on a bit of a diagonal thing. That's going to be the hard part. So we're going to bring this one in here and see how we can do this. It doesn't, you know what? It really doesn't have to be perfect. It's just stylized really. So let's just keep going up with this. We're going to go up. And then down a bit. Um, I have this strange smell in my nose because the guy delivered boxes from Staples and I think they sprayed the packages with disinfectant. And so now I have like this strange citrus disinfectant smell in my nose. So <laughs> I might have to go blow my nose at some point, but that's okay. We'll just, we're just gonna work for a bit. I'm gonna go get some water in a minute. And then we're gonna bring this one up here so that's, we have so far just the, um, the crisscross here to one side, but now we have to figure out how to do it in the different direction. So those are going up that way. They're not perfect, but that's okay. So why don't I clip that one? We'll just clip that one here. And, oh, thank you, Joan, for speaking Spanish. That's awesome. I appreciate that. And because uh, I do not speak enough Spanish to have a conversation, unfortunately. And so now we're going to bring this one. Let's bring this one straight across. And then I'm going to go up the other side. So let's just go here. I'm going to bring this one in here. So Joan, you can please say hello to Leticia, although I have a feeling she understands English. So we might be okay with that. So now... And I definitely know how to say hello, hola. So that's good. So now I actually have a friend, Julie, who has a, a YouTube channel teaching Spanish because she teaches Spanish at a local uh, college and she has a YouTube channel. So um, that's cool. And so now we're going to go up the other way and crisscross. So we're just crisscross here. I think that's, I can just skip that one and crisscross here. So I'm going to crisscross here. Um... But how are we going to do this? I guess, hmm, yeah, let's see. I'll just, I don't know if I have to actually, you know what, I don't even have to like twist it around because the, 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 these wires are going to catch them in place. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here. And they're definitely not going to be perfect, but that's the idea. We're just going to kind of go back and forth. And then it's kind of cool. It looks stylized. But it definitely works. It works better than the loops, that's for sure. So let's just bring this one in here. And then we are going to pull this tight. Okay, we're just going to pull this one tight and around. And then we can clip that one. So just do that. Clip it in. And then for the ice cream, that's cute. So for the ice cream, there's a few things. I kind of like this loopy loop thing. I think it's going to look more convincing than these ones. Uh, I also thought about using different colors, but let's just try a simple one and then we'll go from there. So let's get our beautiful pink, whoop, pink um, wire and I'm going to cut a little piece, not too big, maybe, I don't know, six inches or something, not even like five inches. And we'll clip this one. And then after that, we'll get into the owls because I don't think we want to waste too much time on ice cream. So now, uh, oh, thank you, Clarice. Awesome. I appreciate that. I have no idea what you wrote, but it, uh, I'm sure it's nice. So now let's go ahead and uh, bend, the, bend it on a bit like a, a sharp bend. We want a point. So we're going to halfway do a little point. 
Okay, we're going to pinch that one so it's nice and pointy. And after this, I am going out for a walk. It's so beautiful out there. So nice weather today. I really, really, really going to get some fresh air and vitamin D. So now we're going to bring this one over here. And then this one, like, over this way. And we want to start forming what looks like ice cream. So that's sort of a good shape. So maybe I'll just bring this in a bit. I'm going to just, like, separate it a little more. And then we want to make kind of loopy things. Sometimes it's easier to make the loops by hand, and sometimes it's easier to use your pliers. If you do it by hand, it's a little more organic. So we're going to bring it around here. Because sometimes when you do loops with pliers, they end up being like a little bit stiff. Uh, Joan says, I wish it is minus 24. Oh, Joan, poor you. Um, it's getting colder again here later in the week, but, um, but we're going to appreciate what we have right now. Three different size beads. Ah, that's a good idea, Kat. Yeah, to do beads. That would be really fun. We should do one with beads. I like that idea. So let's go ahead and we'll finish this and maybe we can do a quick one with some beads. That would be, I love that idea. So now, maybe these loops have to be a little bit smaller. Plus you don't want them to be like exactly the same size, the loops. So we're going to bring this one around here. Bring this one to the front. I'm just trying to do them like more by more by like free form because I find it looks more organic when it's free form. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that looks yummy. I would eat that. So now let's go ahead and bring this one in and that one in. So there's our ice cream that's going to go on the ice cream cone. Maybe it's a little on the big side, but that's okay. And Betta says hello from Mexico. Hello, hello. Nice. Okay, so let us get this bent over a little bit, okay? And then this side too, we're gonna bend it over a little bit. Perfect, there we go. Yeah, I've been to Mexico, but I've only been to Merida and um, briefly in Cancun for a stopover and where else? Uh, Playa del Carmen and Tulum. So that was, that was really nice, that was a long time ago. Haven't been there for probably 30 years. So now there we go. So that's gonna go in there and then we need to twist this in place, but in a way that it's actually gonna hold. So we're gonna bring this one around sort of more towards the corner there. I'll get my cute little ice cream. Yeah, it looks yummy, eh? This wire is just incredible. I love the color of this rose gold, the artistic wire. It's so pretty. And we're going to bring this one around here and hope it doesn't flip. We want it to be bent in enough that it's not going to flip around. And then this one too should be good. And maybe I'll just bring it in between some of these crisscross wires to hold it in place. So we're going to go like that, bring it down, and then we want to clip it. So give it a good little tug so it holds in place so it won't wiggle so much. And Mustafa says, I just remembered that I promised y'all a tutorial of how to sign up for Slack. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes. Awesome. Mexico City is beautiful too. I think we did a little stopover in Mexico City, but that was a long time ago. I barely remember. Yeah, that was so long ago. So now we're going to clip this and there is our super cute ice cream cone. I like it. And then if you want to... Bring these over a little bit, maybe push these out a little bit so it goes like kind of passes the side of the ice cream cone. Oh my God, this is adorable. So now we need my ring cone. Let me get the ring cone, I forgot it. So we have our handy dandy ring mandrel. I love this mandrel, it's so awesome. And I have a bone, Amanda says, I have a bone to pick with artistic wire because when I was wire weaving, my wire was losing some of the pre protective film. Hmm, that's, yeah, that's the trouble with wire weaving. It's very fine work. So I understand that you would lose some of the film because it's, uh, you're scratching, it. you would be scratching it all the time when you pull it through things. Does anybody have any solutions 
Uh, for the, the for that, maybe it's just not suitable for wire weaving. That's possible. I, I'm not a wire weaver, so I can't help you with that. But I can imagine um, the coating could scratch off if you are uh, if you're doing very fine work. So now we're going to bring this one in here, and now let's just clip it a bit because it's a little long. And there we go. So let's just bring this one in here and we're going to put this one here and we're going to pull this one through. So whatever size you want to do, just hold this in place. And Jackie, thank you for sharing these. I wanted to make some rings for my four daughters. Oh, that's so fun. Well, Jackie, you'll definitely have to watch the two previous live streams uh, where I made all kinds of different rings. We've made so many different things. We did monkeys, giraffes, um, pineapples, uh, all kinds of things, guitars. So whatever you need for your granddaughters, uh, or your, oh, no, your daughters, sorry, uh, just if... If I haven't already do, done a tutorial, let me know if they have any special interests. And every week I'm doing these live streams with the rings so I can do designs for you uh, based on what your daughter's like. So, and if I don't have time to do an actual live stream, I can do a sketch and put it in the uh, community section to give you a, an idea for like design and how the design would work. So that's the hard part is working out the design. So Amanda Germany, the main thing, is to try to do as much with your hands as possible. And if you use pliers, to so use the nylon coated ones. Absolutely, Amanda, great advice. Uh, that's what I try to, I try to do as much manipulating as the wire with my hands as possible as well. I think that's great advice. So um, Sharon, hi Sharon, nice to see you. So guys, here we go. Um, was 28 gauge yeah yeah I think the weaving is an issue for scratching wire but like I said if anybody else has other other ideas and um and it's still ruined okay well maybe it's not the appropriate wire for wire wire weaving that is possible so now here is the ice cream cone it's super cute guys I love that awesome so now let's go ahead and maybe try one with the with the um uh with the beads sorry and then we'll do the foxes and the owls so now could be a bad batch yeah it's possible and you can compare with other brands like if you want to try the para wire and see if it's any different you can definitely try that and see how it goes uh, personally i've never had trouble with the um with the coating, but I don't do a lot of fine work or weaving. So, so now for the ice cream cone, uh, what colors should we do? Cat, maybe maybe you can let me know uh, what colors we should do for the ice cream cone. And then I'm going to get some more wire. Let's try with the 20 gauge wire again and see what we can do. So let's just get a little piece of the 20 again and I'm going to cut a piece of that and maybe we could try the band with the, oh, the other one was 18 after all. Wasn't that what I did? Yeah, I did 18 for that one. Oops, sorry guys, I'm hitting this thing. So mint, oh my goodness. If I did chocolate mint, Mimi would not be happy because she gets sick every time she eats chocolate mint. So <laughs> I won't do that. Hi Mia, how are you? Yeah, awesome, you're here, hello. So now um, for the, for the ice cream cone with the beads. See, these were the other ideas that I had was just to do this type of thing, but I like the idea of doing beads. So let's just try something simple and see what we can do for that. Um, ba -da -ba -da. So I'll just start here by starting. So we're just gonna take this around here. I wonder if there's a way, I just had a thought, but I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. If I just bend, Okay, let's just try this. If I bend this up and then down and then down, I almost need bigger uh, pliers. So if we go up, okay, we're going to do, this is just, this is just for fun, guys. I'm just experimenting. So we're, then we're going to go up and then on the same angle and then down, has to be a little wider maybe a little wider down and then oh that's too wide now so down 
This is where we experiment without any like preconceived notions that it has to work, but it might work. That's the thing. It might work. So now those are nice to my favorite is cookies and cream. Oh yes, everybody. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? I have so many. Um, when I was growing up, there used to be an ice cream. Other fellow Canadians might remember it. I don't know if it's Canadian, but it was called Butter Brickle. And it was a flavor that had like little pralings in it. It was so good, but I don't think you can buy it anymore. It was so good. So are those glass beads or plastic? So I have some glass. The uh, Miracle beads are made of acrylic. They're plastic. Cat's eye beads are, I think, glass. Good question. Does anybody know what cat's eye beads are? They might be glass, but now I'm not 100% sure. So, um, but the Miracle beads are definitely plastic. So this is, I'm just playing around with this. Uh, pistachio, ooh, yum, butter pecan, yum. You guys are making me hungry. I'm gonna move these. And uh, if Kat's still there, she could tell us what colors we should do. Cat's eyes are glass. Okay, good to know. I thought they were. I just, I just had a little bit of a brain fart. I couldn't remember. So now we're gonna bring this one here and we're kind of just crossing them behind. So let's just see. This might look really silly, and I also might run out of wire, but we're going to try it. So if we bring this one here up, and then there, I'm going to go that way, and down. It's kind of interesting. That way, and then up, and then one more. That way, that way, that way. And that way. So that's very interesting, very designy. So that's our little modern little um, ice cream cone here. I think I'm gonna go with it. I like it. And then we're gonna bring this one across and I'm like totally running out of wire here. So we're gonna bring this one across and just really, really use just the last little bit of wire that we have. So, Oh, I'm missing all these flavors of ice cream, double chocolate, yum, blue bunny pralines and cream. Mmm, that sounds good. I love pralines and cream. American nuts, where did you buy your bead box set? Uh, so the box is just from the Dollarama, and the beads I bought separately. I bought them all. I, I, these are just my favorite beads that I use for my work. I'm going to use my favorite pliers. Um, and so they're a mix of sizes four millimeter six millimeter and eight millimeter those are all the beads i use for my work and there's miracle beads and uh actually i'll show you guys so i'm just attaching this at the top here so these are my miracle beads love these beads and i also have hematite is a one that i use a lot hematite beads these are eight millimeter size and then the cat's eye beads these are all eight millimeter, so that's that. These are all Miracle Beads, I use these a lot. And then these are six millimeter, uh, also Miracle Beads, Cat's Eye and Hematite. I have a ton of random stuff in there, little ladybugs, hearts. And then all the four millimeter beads, Hematite, Cat's Eye, all that. So, and then these ones here are like faceted beads. So I use those for necklaces, uh, rings, all kinds of stuff. Well, I don't usually make rings except for these live streams, but uh, yeah. So, ooh, dolce leche, leche, nice. Angela, online as I'm in Scotland. Yay, Scotland! My my dad's side of the family is from Scotland. Our, our family tree traces back to Scotland with a name like Heather, you don't doubt it. And then we're going to bring this one around here. And uh, yeah, my parents went to Scotland and sort of traced our roots a little bit. And we have our whole family tree written down somewhere. So I think they actually stayed in an Airbnb where my great-great-grandfather was born. So that's cool. So now there is our cone. I kind of like it. It's kind of funky. S. Her Herity says, I'm here from New Jersey. Hello, you're like neighbors. We're in Montreal. We're not super far. And... Um, is that online as I'm in Scotland? Oh, you mean the where I bought my beads? I bought them, I buy a lot of them on Etsy and Amazon and also locally at craft suppliers, but you can buy beads online and those containers you can get at any like dollar store or hardware store, probably a hardware store. 
So now for the for the um, ice cream, I'm thinking maybe actually the eight millimeter size might be better. Like, oh, they're actually not even maybe not even big enough. Uh, but I don't really know what color to do because I guess this could be like candy cane ice cream or something. The beads are small though. I'm thinking maybe big beads. Oh, maybe we should use this one. Clarice, you gave me this bead. It could be pistachio. Let's do a pistachio ice cream for Clarice. It said it's kind of large, but that's okay. Let's try it. And I am going to get some, I guess, 20 gauge wire again, maybe. Maybe we could try it and see. So I like the colors. Yeah, the colors are awesome. Yeah, look up, look up. Um, is there an online link to the dollar store? I don't think so. I don't think the dollar store sells online. They're usually local stores. But if you look up, um, what would you look up online for those containers? You would look up uh, arrangement, like storage containers, maybe. If you guys know what they're called, um, let me know because you can probably buy those on Amazon, the storage containers. I'm just not quite sure what they would be called. They're like tackle boxes or something, but uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll definitely try to find out. But honestly, like local hardware stores or dollar stores would have them. But if you live in an isolated area that has no stores around, you could probably get them on Amazon. So I'll, I'll try to find a link for that and, uh, and put it, uh, you could even look up Amazon Scotland and find, uh, find a link for something like that. So if we do like the Say we do like this type of thing for the ice cream and then I'm just gonna like bring this one up and then that way you have a bit of like of what looks like a tip. Otherwise it's not gonna look much like a ice cream cone unless we have like a little point to it. So let's try this. So we're gonna bring this one around and Dollar Tree and Dollarama sell online. Wow, they're, they've evolved over the years, eh? I mean, they only used to take cash and now they sell online. That's pretty insane. So now we're going to attach this one to the top. See, if I'd cut this wire longer, I could have even used the same wire for the ice cream cone. And so now uh, I'm going to just like bend this one to the front and this one to the back. Yeah, I didn't want to do just a simple bead because it's going to look pretty plain. But I think if we have something like this, Okay, this one goes good over here. So we're gonna bring this one here. And then this one has to go in here. Yeah, it would have been great if I'd cut this wire longer, but I didn't. So uh, Peggy says, Dollar Tree online only sells in bulk. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Bead storage containers, perfect. That sounds good. Azure wire, uh, half hard. So. The brass one is more on the half hard side. The artistic copper and the regular pair of wire is a little bit more on the soft side, but these wires aren't indicated. It's not like sterling silver where you buy it and it's indicated half hard or, um, or uh, dead soft. Uh, so you some of them vary depending on the company. Like some companies are really terrible. Do not buy this brand. Do not buy Benacrete. Uh, it's horribly soft. This is 20 gauge wire and the color scratches off. So it's cheaper on Amazon, but please do not buy this wire. It's terrible. So it would just be a waste of money. So go with either the artistic wire or the para wire, depending on your preference. I know people have different preferences. I prefer the artistic wire, but some people prefer para wire. So there we go. So we've got this. Now this is wobbling. So we have to give it another twist around. So we're going to bring it in here. If this, this wire is too long, see, I wish I had cut the wire long enough that I could have done it with one piece of wire. That would have been amazing. Uh, you made that mistake too with the Benacrete. Yeah, I just wanted to test some different wires so I could recommend them to people. But honestly, don't buy a random brand of wire on Amazon that you don't know what it is because there are a lot of brands similar to Benacrete that are terrible and uh, just like not even worth it. I bought another one that was just some random aluminum colored wire and it was also terrible. So yeah, so you just have to beware and always better to spend a little bit more money if the wire is going to be a better quality because otherwise you're just wasting your money. So now let's just bring this one around. 
bring this one right around. I have to, I need bigger fingernails. So I'm gonna bring this one around and pinch it a little bit. Yeah, this would have been awesome if I had had the foresight to cut a longer piece of wire. So Mustafa says, Heather is actually a name of a nabby messenger of God. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, Mustafa, you never told me that before. That is pretty cool. I love that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to uh, look that up because I've never heard that before. And I am very honored. Thank you for telling me that. Wow. So let's just bring this one around. Yeah. And... There is our pistachio ice cream cone for, for Clarice. There you go, Clarice. Pistachio, yum, very nice. So now we need to do a ring band. And so what I'll do is, uh, many bad experience with grabbing whatever's available, exactly. It's okay for practicing, but if you wanna make something decent, you don't wanna buy the, the crappy wire. So let's cut a piece that's about three inches long. And we are going to, you're very welcome, Angela. It's cute, eh, uh, uh, Amber? I, I like it. I, I think it's really cute. So now, uh, my mom's favorite ice cream flavor. Very cool. I'm going to have to go try some pistachio ice cream because I don't remember if I like it or not. I do like pistachios in baklava. Uh, that's delicious. Um, but I don't know if I've ever... Had, I guess I've had pistachio ice cream at some point in my life. My goodness. So now we're going to measure to see what distance these should be apart. We're going to push this one up here. Clarice says, yum. Nice. Well, thank you for the bead, Clarice. Uh, these come in handy often. I've used those. I think I used them in the maybe the bracelet challenge as well, or the, I forget, I've used them many, many times. So we're gonna stick the 18 gauge wire in here, put it back on the ring cone, and then we're just gonna bend it out here and here. So I'm making it a little bit big, I guess. Oh, now it's sliding down. So that's not what I want to happen. Um, so to prevent that, it's okay. I could have put it in there or in there. Let me just see. I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna do because I don't really want it sliding back and forth, but at the same time, I don't want it to flip too much. What if I, here, I'm gonna move this one over to see. This is, the, this is where you have to just decide what seems to work best for you. I'm going to clip this. You're back, nice. Oh, a small red bead for a cherry on top would be cute. I like that idea. Yeah, definitely, if you guys make these, uh, yeah, try some different things like that. I think it's a great idea. I like the idea of a cherry, I think it's cute. So now this one, if we put this one in here, is it gonna flip? It might not be too bad. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one, oh, but my band got like super distorted. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one up here. I'm actually gonna put this wire let me cut it maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, okay, I can fix this up. So now let's just fix this up a little bit. Okay, or let's fix this up a little bit. So there we go. We're just going to bend this back and forth. Bend this back and forth to fix it. What are we making? Hi, Susan. We are making ice cream cone rings. So this one's just about done. I'm just going to fix this up a bit more. And then I'm going to trim... These, actually I don't need to trim them now. So now we're gonna take our ice cream and put it, let's put it in this intersection so it's like between two wires so it won't slide. And then that one there, between two wires, it might flip, that's my only issue. I'm gonna bring this one here and bend that, oopie, bend that one over. And then this one too, we're gonna to bend it over here. Might be okay like that, let's try it. And otherwise you could put it higher up on the um, cone. So we're gonna pull that in there, give it a little tug. And this is my favorite way to make rings. Uh, if you use charms or simple shapes or simple beads. So you do, the, you do the center part with 20 gauge wire and then you do the band with 18 gauge wire. And so the band is more solid and holds its form better. And then you you can get more detail with the 20 gauge wire in the actual object itself. So let's give that a little tug. 
And uh, Connie has to go. Okay, catch the replay. Awesome, Connie. That's fantastic. Uh, thank you, and have fun with your haircut. So now we are going to pinch that one in and pinch this one in. Okay, so those little, there's no little rough ends. And then now we're going to put it back on the ring cone and uh, straighten it out a bit. The bead's a little big, but you know, next time maybe I'd make the cone a little smaller. So there is our funky uh, ice cream cone and there's the other one. So we have two ice cream cone rings. They turned out really, really um, well. Those are super fun. And then, uh, yeah, you could do like, I have some other designs like this type of thing I didn't try. There's one with the bead and a little uh, cherry on top. So that's that would be cute too, or several balls of ice cream. So sky is the limit, guys. Play around with it. See what you want to do. And I am going to just grab my water. You guys can look at, here, let's, let's bring the, the owls and the foxes over. I'm going to grab my water, and uh, I'll be right back, and we can work on some owls. Okay, now I'm back. So, owls, where to start? Oof, there's so many. Maybe we could just do a simple one with the face and then we'll go from there. So, I have to make that for all my littles on the block. Nice little ice cream cone rings. That would be awesome. And you could, you could simplify it, you know? You could simplify it so you don't have all those crisscrosses or maybe find an easier way to do that. Um, this part's super easy, the, the ball of, like, the ice cream on top, so that's cool. So now, let us get some wire. Let's stick with the 20 gauge for this part, although this one you could do an 18 gauge. Maybe we could do that one all with one piece of wire. Let's try that. 18 gauge. Uh, what color eyes for the owl, guys? You, you guys tell me what color eyes the owl should have because I do not know. I have I like turquoise, I have red, I have yellow, I have green, blue. So what color owl uh, eyes do owls have? Are they green? I'm not sure. I have um, green miracle beads. Maybe the cat's eye beads would be better. They look a little more eye-like since they're called cat's eyes. I just have to see if I have some that match. And if I don't, I'll get my other tray of beads that I do have. It's the same thing, but it's got a little bit more. These are my, this is my back stock. So this is my back stock, yellow. Okay, yellow, cool. This is my back stock of beads that I have all my extra ones. So that's where I keep those ones, but I can do yellow. Yep, I definitely have yellow. So let's do that. Tiger's eye. Yeah, I do have tiger's eye too, but it's, I don't know, they, they're not beautiful. Let's stick with yellow. So I'm going to get the yellow ones. There we go. And let's remove this. There we go. And, oh, someone else is leaving. Heredy is leaving. Okay, no problem. Have fun. Yeah, have fun with your errands. Awesome. So now let's get the thicker 18 gauge just to try this. I'll cut a piece that's, I don't know, about eight to 10, 10 inches maybe. And a light blue. Oh, you're too late, Mustafa. So maybe another time we can use the light blue. So now let's just start. Can you guys see this? I have to see what's on my screen. Yep, so let's start with that one. We're just gonna um, bend it on a point at the end. So bend it here and bring that one around okay there we go and then we want to curve it around so we can use our round pliers would be better for the fox okay cool we can use light blue for the fox awesome so now let's bring these in to make a little kind of a beak thing beak and then i don't want to make it too big either so those will go something in there. And then the idea would be 
bring this one around and around here. Okay, and then we wanna bring them up. So just imagine your beads are gonna be like in here. And then we're going to take this one and bring it up. And then we wanna do the same on the other side. Of course, it's hard to get them symmetrical, but I will end up making templates for all these guys once we've done like exhausted all of our ring designs. I'm going to actually take the ring prototypes and make uh, templates. So if you guys want them to trace them, I'll put those in my Etsy DIY shop, but that that's a long-term project. It won't be ready right away. Um, or maybe I'll put one up temporarily and then, and then improve it. But, um, but yeah, so I'll trace them and make them more symmetrical. So you guys will be able to uh, use the templates if you want to reproduce the design. So now we want to, uh, come and bend this back. So just about here, actually, I don't want to make it too big either. Let's just see. That should be all right. Okay. We're just going to bring this one around a little bit more and this one around a little bit more. I forgot about like the width of your finger, right? You don't want it too wide either. And then we're going to take this one and bend to the back. So just take this one, give it a good little point, push it and then down. And so same on this side. I don't know if it's high enough. Take that and push it and then down. So now we have sort of what looks like this top part of the owl and you know your animals, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, Am Amber definitely knows her animals. I would not dispute anything you say about animals because I do not know. I know a bit about bunnies, that's about it. So now we're gonna curve this around. So we need like a larger pliers. So you can either use your looping pliers for that to bend that around. Or if you don't have looping pliers, just use the end of a pen that works in a pinch too. So now we wanna decide like where this is gonna go. So around here. So bring this one around and let's see where that can go like around in here. And maybe in a little bit more, whoopsies, rolling away. And now we're gonna bend it up. So animals are so adorable, they are. So now we're gonna bring this one up. We have squirrels that come to our house and on our balcony and we have bunnies, we have skunks, we have raccoons. What else do we have? Lots of crows. We have a crow that lives in our backyard and um, tons of dogs and cats, of course, in the neighborhood. A lot of people have dogs in this neighborhood and they like to pee on our lawn for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, I guess we're very welcoming. So there we go. So we're gonna bring this one around and around here, bring this one around a little bit more. Try to get them even. That's the hard part is getting them symmetrical and then bring this one up here. So we're gonna bring that one around here, hopefully. It's more or less symmetrical. Just have a look. If you have to bring it down a bit, again, you can. Let me just remove this. And then we're gonna put the other bead on. So there we go. Corey says, I'm making a crown for my toy poodle with the chicken wire. That's so cool. Oh, I can't wait to see. So now we are going to put those in there. So this is, looks a little not even, but that's not too bad. So there's, this one, but then we want to bring them around. Let me just see the best way to do it. So we go, yeah, I think we could do it this way. My hair stuck to my fingernail. So we're gonna bring this one around, okay, around here and wind it around, like full circle around the bead, full circle around the bead. So there we go. So there's one and then this one too. So we're gonna go out full circle around the bead, round and around. Perfect. So there, oh, it's really cute. It's very simple. So there is, and this might have to get pulled in a little bit more. So there's the owl's face, very stylized. And then to make the ring, 
I feel like it's not 100% symmetrical, but that's okay. It's coming out amazing. It's nice, eh, Amanda? And it's very simple. Like, it's a very super simple design. And then we can finish it at the back. So let's just bring it here, maybe at the seven, and we're gonna bring it around one side. And then we can bring it around this side. Okay, I like the yellow, that was a good choice, thank you. And around that side. So there we've got this and this, maybe we're just gonna pull it out a little bit more. And to attach it, I think we're gonna have to attach it, unless you like just left it and you can hammer it, but otherwise, um, yeah, because you want it to hold in place. So I think what I'm gonna do is just bring it around, okay? Bring it around here. Let me close it up a little bit. So this is the seven size. We're gonna bring it here, bring it in here. So we want these to be like overlapped, okay? And then we're gonna make it somewhat adjustable. So if we hold it like this, okay, I'm gonna remove it. And then we want to get our flat pliers and then hold it, whoopee. We're gonna hold it somewhat in the middle, okay? So let's just bring it in. We want this to be somewhat centered. Hold it here. And let's start with one side. We're gonna bring this one in and around. Okay, we'll bring this one in and around here. Okay, and then we wanna make sure it's centered. Okay, this is the tricky part. We bring that centered and then bring it in a little bit more. Mm, a little bit more. And then we're gonna take this one. This might not be very well centered, but you get the idea. So we're gonna bring that one around here. So that we've got that one here and then this one here. And then that way, like say you're selling these rings and you want them to be somewhat adjustable, that way you'd have a little bit of leeway to adjust it for your client. So now we're going to, you could twist it around a second time if you want, or you can just clip it here. In fact, if you clip it here, okay, we're gonna clip it here and then clip it here. That way, if you take this and just push it in a little bit, okay, then it won't be so sharp in there. I think we're gonna get the needle nose pliers for that. Uh, Amanda says, this would look awesome with the body and the tail, separate pieces connected with jump rings. Yes, yes, I've definitely seen uh, owl pendants and sometimes they piece them together in different, um, with different uh, like sections and stuff. Uh, yeah, definitely if you Google owl wire jewelry, you can find all kinds of other ideas for different things. So uh, lots of ideas on Pinterest too. So if you're looking for other ideas, and I think I've done some owls on my channel before, maybe earrings or pendants, I, I forget, I lose track. So this is the idea. So then you have this so you can actually like move it back and forth and then the end shouldn't be too sharp but I'm gonna, be, this ended up being a little bit too big, but there we go. So we can push it in a little bit there. And so say you're like selling these at a craft show and then you want to adjust it to the person's size, you can just like adjust it. And then if you want it to be like more solid and not um, come out of shape, just give it a little pinch. Okay, so just give it a little pinch and then that way, it'll stay in place for, um, so it won't, uh, it won't expand and contract. So this is the idea. So there, and then you can put it back on the ring cone, put it back on the ring cone and you've got like that type of thing. And whoopsies. So that is the idea, very simple. And you can put it on, it's kind of cool. I like it, it's very stylized. Yeah, a lot of potential with that. So there's the owl and RC says, I'm here, but I'm late. Hello, and Anastasia says, uh, something animals are cool, but Heather is cooler. Aw, that's so sweet. I'm gonna have a sip of water. So now that was that. 
And then if you wanted to do a full body, oh, here's one that it's sort of like two pieces with jump rings, but I wouldn't do that on a ring. For a pendant or earrings, it's good. And uh, But I like the idea of doing a whole body. This might be cool too. You do like a branch with the um, with the owl and maybe the branch can be like can be the ring part that might be interesting but why don't we just try a little owl and to go on a ring and see what we could do like a full body owl and um and see how it goes so let's get the I'm kind of stuck on this brass colored wire today uh so let's just go with it and Joan says, I love it so much. I must make one for yourself. 100%. These, like the owl, that owl ring is so easy. Definitely, definitely you guys can make that in two minutes flat. So let's go ahead and get a larger piece of the wire. This is about 12 inches. And I am going to, somebody asked in the Wire Makers Club the other day, like why people rub the wire with uh, a cloth. And I don't always use a polishing cloth. I usually just use toilet paper because I don't have Kleenex. And then see how it's kinked? You just use this to get the kinks out of the wire because you don't want to do it with your finger. But see, if you just go like that, then it can take the kinks out of your wire. Uh, I couldn't find a tutorial on my channel about owls. So maybe I haven't done one. I thought I'd done a live stream, but maybe not. That's possible. So... Yeah, see, there's actually no residue on this at all because it's a coated wire and it's non-tarnished. So that's a good that's a good sign. So now let's get some uh, beads for the eyes. Well, let's try it small though. Let's try little little beads. Can we do a different color other than yellow? Um, what do you guys think for the owl eyes? I don't know. I'm thinking green. Do do owls have green eyes? I don't know. I'm I'm attracted to these green beads. But there's also, who, who can Google what color are um, owl eyes? Uh, yeah, I thought I had some too. Oh, well, maybe not. Joan says, I use the shirt that I'm wearing to take out the kinks. Yeah, ditto, ditto. I do that too, but my shirt's tucked in today. So green eyes, good. Okay, Amber is the animal professional. So let's go with green. So now let's go ahead and take the green beads. These are four millimeter miracle beads. Miracle beads are my favorite amber eyes. Purple. No, too late. We're using green. So now let's just take this and bring it around one way. I'm just going to check. Uh, I think we just went around and around. Let's see if we could do it this way. So I'm going to just bring this one down and I think we should go around them twice though so they're completely surrounded so let's go one to the front one to the back let's bring this one away okay one to the front one to the back because sometimes I like to like completely surround the eyes otherwise you would have a bit that's like more open so now let's bring this one over a little bit more and uh, yeah, so what we want to do, if we wanted some space there and our bead keeps slipping, I have a little hack for that. Let me, uh, Donna says owl eyes are brown or black. Oh, black would have worked. Why didn't we think of black? Oh, well, next time you guys can do black. So now we're going to take this one, bring it around here and bring this one up here and... So that's surrounded, and then we're going to bring it to the back again. So the eyes are like completely surrounded with wire. Holding it with the pliers helps it prevent from slipping. Now this one has to get right under there. There we go. Okay, so perfect. So there, so now we've got the eyes, and now we want to make the ears again. So let's just bring it and then up. I'm going to just like do this. Wait, whoopsies, and then bring that one up a bit. So we have this type of thing, looks good. And then we wanna make the ears. So let's do this. Yellow, brown, green, brown are all related. Nice, nice, I like the green. I, it's con. It's a nice contrast, so there we go. We're gonna bring this one up, and and it's art, right? So they don't have to be realistic at all. 
um, when you make art, that's for sure. So now we're going to bring these ones up and that one up. Okay, so there's going to be our pointy ears and then now we have to bend them to the back. So let's get our these pliers and oh, I forgot to do a nose. Oopsies. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have done the nose first. And then, okay, maybe we can, maybe it's not too late. So let's get this, pull it back. Okay, I was going to like rewind these ones, but it's kind of too late for that. So if we bring this to the back, and good thing I noticed now. So now we're going to take this one and bring it around. Hopefully it's going to work. Around. There we go. And we're going to try to do some kind of nose thing. So... Let's just bring this one down and bend it up. Here, I'll we'll just get this one straight down and bend this to the back. And yeah, maybe it's better. Like I was going to bend it like straight back, but I think like this, it's better. So let's do this just to have at least some kind of representation of the nose. I should have maybe done it first and then done the eye, but it's too late now. You'll make it look gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Mustafa. There we go. So now we're gonna bring it there and then up, and then now we can go around. So the, the nose is not perfect. Next time I would probably do it um, before the second eye, but just because I forgot, we're going to do it this way. So we're going to do it that way. And at least it has some semblance of a nose, even though it's a little bit crooked. So now we're going to go up and up. And then this one, I might remake it after too. You guys know me. I, I tend to be a little perfectionist sometimes, not always. But if something doesn't quite work out, I often will do it after the live stream to fix it up. So there is the owl and now let us go ahead and bring this one uh, down so bring this one down could be front or back uh, we have a lot of wires going to the back let's bring these to the front okay and let's bring this one to the front and here there we go Ooh, it's a little bit like a bat, but that's okay. So then now we want to uh, get the round pliers. And just looking at the picture as I go. Um, okay, bring this one. Okay, this one's going to go straight out a little more. And then we're going to bring that one out that way. This one too, we're going to bring it out. And then that one out a little more. I'm not going to worry too much about being perfect pr proportions, but that's the idea. So we have, oh, it's cute. So this one, and then we need to form the wings. So it's going to be a little bigger than I thought for a ring, but that's okay. Uh, hi, Donna. So now... Yeah, the green eyes are cool. I like them too. Yeah, they're they're nice. They they definitely pop. So now we're going to bring this one here. Maybe bring this one out a little bit. I don't want this part to be too big. And then this one out and in. Okay. And then out again. Okay. So we've got that one and that one. Cute. And then we want to bring it in to make, yeah, it's definitely going to be big for a ring, but that's okay. That's fine. So now this will come down here and then this one down here. And then we're going to have to, let's bring this one in and... Every time I say, and then, I think of, who was it on the last live stream that said they're 
daughter or granddaughter said that all the time when she's trying to like keep people's attention when telling a story. So she just does like, and then say it really slowly. And then, then you guys will uh, uh, keep your attention while I decide what to say next. I thought that was so cute. So now there's the um, owl. And we have to think about how we want to do the ring part because now I'm thinking if there's a little like branch, the owl might like flip over. So I'm thinking the band should maybe be more up here, but that's going to be something I'm going to have to experiment with. So why don't we go ahead and I also like these. I also like these kind of loopy things for the tail, which are interesting. So now I'm a little bit indecisive and have to decide what I want to do, but it's also really cute just like that. So why don't we get the pliers? Wants to, s oh, Michael, uh, Sharon's um, grandson, Michael, wants to say hi. Well, hi, Michael. How are you? Nice to nice to say hello to you. Hello from Montreal. Michael's a nice name. I know a Michael. I have my friend's son name is Michael, and he's the sweetest guy. Yeah, Michael's a lovely name. So now we're going to take this one and bring this one up. So let's see how this is going to work. And then now I'm thinking, like, that's his tail. So now I'm thinking maybe... He should have like a little branch and the little feet on a branch or something. I'm having a little bit of indecision here. So let's go ahead and yeah, what if we had like a little branch thing going on? Maybe like a separate one. Let's try it. Okay, just I'm curious to try it. So what if we got the band or maybe not even this kind of band maybe want we want something that's a little bit let's go crazy here let's try something a little bit completely different I'm going to find some 28 wire green so I have some green uh, let's see if I have another green um but I'm gonna oh this is a nicer green let's get this green it's also para wire because I've won three spools of para wire way back on Instagram. They have draws for, you could win wires. So I chose uh, silver, gold, and green. So let's just get a long piece of the green. I'm gonna try something different, just because I can. And bring two wires up to make the wings. Yeah, I was thinking we could do the wings, Something like that. I even have put beads on the wings. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try something a little bit different and it might or might not work. And then we'll do the wings after. So let's see what we can do about this. So what if we just try to do a few leaves? This also might get scrapped, but you don't know until you try. So we're just going to do like that. And that doesn't really look like a leaf at all actually so what if we shaped it a bit okay and then we can um maybe do another one okay this one and then if this doesn't work we are just going to scrap it we will see how it goes so we're going to take that and crisscross those and then twist twist um Maybe just like that, twist again. Okay, and then they kind of look like Christmas lights, but we're gonna see, so we're gonna do another one. And we might completely scrap this idea, but we do not know until we try. We could also do a band and then do separate, actually that might be better. Do a band and then do separate uh, leaves type of thing. Let me just see this, because this, this does not, this is not what I envisioned at all. So, cause I was thinking it'd be cute to do something like that, but that looks a little silly. So let's go back to our thicker band idea. So let's go ahead and get the 18 gauge again. I will have to go, no problem Mustafa. Thank you so much. I know it's late for you. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you can't make the pineapple too because you need green uh, wire. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, you can do it without green wire too, but uh, it's nice with green wire. Yeah, Mustafa, thanks so much uh, for uh, hopping on. I know it's late. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Yay, thank you so much. And have a great night. Good luck with all your tests and exams and stuff. So now let's go ahead and um, let's try to get this owl on a kind of a branch thing. So I'm going to just push it up a little bit higher so it's actually a little higher than it should be. So let's bring this one here. Mm, there we go. Two and then three and then we're going to just squish that in a bit. Bring it into the back and then again. So now I'm going to Hold this one and then go the other way. So one, two, three. So there we have little Owly on a branch. Ooh, it's cute. And what we can do from here is make some wings. So actually what I want to do is I'm going to actually bring this one in here. Okay, this is going to be a ginormous ring, but that's okay. And yeah, bye Mustafa, thanks for hopping on. Hi Jessica. So now we're gonna take this one and bring this one around. Okay, that one goes up here. Oh, uh, yeah, if we want it exactly like that, let's just bring it up here maybe. Okay, let's bring it up here and start to form the wings. So if we bring this one up here, and hold that in place. I uh, wonder if I have to twist it around there or not again. I think it's okay for now. So now let's go ahead and get our flat pliers. Hold that in place and then bring this one in. Okay, we're going to bring this one in here. Okay, and hold, oops, just hit the thing. I hope the wire is long enough. So there, and then this side, let's bring this one around here. Okay, we're gonna bring this one around. Make sure it's somewhat even. I do like that branch, so we're gonna see what happens with that. I'm gonna hold this here and then bring it around. Bring it around here. Get in there, okay. Pull it and around. So that should be good for now. We might have to twist it around again, although I don't have enough wire on that side, but that's looking really interesting. This is gonna be for the Jolly Green Giant uh, because it's very large. Hi, Rashida. Cute little owl, thank you. So now we are going to make some wings. So let's start with the shorter wires so we know how much leeway we have for the other one. So let's just give this a little pinch. And either we bring it towards the inside or we bring them out, which might be better. Because in this sketch, I did it towards the inside, but I'm thinking they should maybe be more towards the outside. So let's try that here. And bring this one Oopsies, don't want to pinch it too much. Okay, I'm going to bring that one down here and around. Okay. Uh, yeah, these should be maybe higher up. That's the problem. They're slipping a little bit. So I think I do have to like pinch it in a bit so it will stay. Because otherwise it's going to slide down. So pinch it without like pinching through this wire. Try to give it a little bit of a pinch. And then this bend that one out a little bit. So now we're going to bring this one down. Okay. And if I miss your comments along the way, to, um, just if you have a question or anything, just let me know. Just repeat the question if I haven't heard it. So they're sort of the wing things, but the wing wire is very short. So next time I'll cut more wire. I usually cut too much, but this time... I didn't cut enough, so now we're going to bring this one here, and I guess we can just bend it up. 
normally they would be longer, but I'm just gonna bend it here and then twist the end. So we'll just twist the end around and we'll get our little round pliers again. So just bring these ones around, around. Yeah, this one's gonna be tight. It's very tight. I cut it very short. So, I mean, sometimes I cheat and add an extra wire, but I'm just gonna try to make do with what I have here. So now bring that one in, push it down. So there's one wing. Oh, it's cute. And then bring this one down here. Okay, and we're gonna do the other wing. So now we're going to take, oh, let's get the needle nose. Hi, Christina, my favorite creative wire making family. Yay, awesome. So now we're gonna bring this one in here. Yep, we're still doing rings today. We, I still have a ton of the designs that I haven't tried yet. So we're slowly getting through them. So now I'm going to, actually, I wonder if we could even use this extra wire to do something. Let's not cut it yet on the off chance we can use it. So we're gonna bend that up a little bit and I will bring this wire through here, right up through here and then bring it around. So that's the other wing, bring it right around. Got a little bit crinkly and oh, thank you, Clarice. So Clarice has just shared the link to the Facebook group, the Wire Makers Club. So if you guys are not already a member, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. You just have to be sure to answer all the entry questions and agree to the rules of the group, and then you're in like Flynn. So there's that one. Um, wouldn't this be cute with like a little heart in the middle or something? Except I've completely run out of wire, and but that would be cute with a little heart in there. I think what I'll do is just clip this one, and I can always add another um, wire after. So let's just clip it so it's consistent with the other side. Let me just pull it out a little bit and then we'll figure out if we wanna add something to the middle. So the little feet are cute, eh? Yeah, I like the feet too. They're, they're just very stylized and um, I like that it's on the branch. That was sort of the concept I had in mind was just to have like the owl on the ring band to represent the branch. So let's just tighten that up a little bit here. And now, but it would be cool with either a bead or something in the middle there. So if this, I'm not sure how this is gonna work now because maybe this is gonna to be too squishy for a ring. I hadn't thought about that because maybe what we should have done is even have it down, go behind there for the, for the that might've been better. Yeah, I wonder if we could adjust that. So. Let's just try something. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get this back in there. So if we just, here, I'm gonna to try to push these legs back. Okay, I'm gonna to try to push them back. So if we're gonna push this one behind, this might or might not work and it might be a complete disaster. So let's just try this because I want the band to be a little bit more back, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So what if we take this, push this to the back. Okay, push this to the back. And then this side, we would want to do the same. So bring this one here. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one to here all the way back carefully. And then bring this one here and go behind the wings. There we go, That's that worked. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So now the ring band is behind the owl. Otherwise it's gonna be like cutting his, um, cutting his wings off when we put it around the fingers. So there's that, there's that. And then now you could totally put like a little bead or something for on his chest. So here's the owl, it's gonna flip a little bit. And let's put it on the ring cone. A perfect pin, that would be pretty. A bracelet too, ooh, an owl bracelet. That would be super cool too. But today we're making rings. So, but you guys can use any of these designs to do other things with them too, because they're, you know, I'm doing, rings is the theme of the day, but you can do, you can make anything. So now this one slipped a little bit. The wing slipped a little bit, 
but that's okay. And but I'm just wondering if I use that for a ring, it might well, it might still hold its place, but you could also bring the band up a little bit too if you wanted. Or you could do a double band, I guess. So let me just see how this is working. Okay, mm -mm -mm. we can just maybe, why don't we just leave it? Let's just leave it for now and do it like this, and then we can figure something else after. So let's just do it the same way where we did sort of an adjustable band type of thing. So let's go ahead and take these. We can like adjust it smaller too later if we want. And I'm just gonna hold it this way. So we're gonna hold it this way and bring this one up. And now we can clip it a little bit. Uh, you brought the band up again. Yes, so now let's just clip that one. And yeah, it was cutting off the wings. So that's what I did for that. And we're gonna bring this one here and bring that one around and clip it. I'm gonna have lots of bits of wire around, so you can just bring it around uh, once or twice, however many times you wanna bring it around. And then we're going to clip it again. So let's clip that one again, that side, and then that side. And then we're gonna see what needs to be done. So, uh, Heather, Amanda says, Heather, do you remember back for Christmas a year or two ago when you did a little candles with this little design so cute with a tea light yes where the circle part where the ring is Ooh, that would be fun on a little candle that would be cute very nice yeah the sky is the limit for these designs for sure so now this is like a very large ring but this is sort of the idea this wing slipped so let's try to fix that one up a little bit we're gonna bring this one back up and I think it just needs to be like pinched a little bit so let's just bring it up and pinch it a little bit and it should be okay we don't want to pinch like through the wire but we also want it to stay up here maybe a little bit more the other thing you can do so it doesn't slip is like put it in the position you want and then you just have to kind of like give this a little kink so it'll stay. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But sometimes if you just give it a little bit of a a little bend, maybe not with those pliers, maybe with the round ones. Okay, so we're just going to take this and just like a little flick of the wrist out. We might be able to get it to stay a little bit. Yeah, and it's being silly. So there we go. We're just going to do that. I think I'm just going to try to pinch it a little bit more. That's why sometimes I do little loops in the wire to hold hold it in place, but this should be okay. Yeah, it's not perfect, but that's okay. So now let's just put it back on the ring cone to make sure it's in place. So there is our owl ring, which is like a little on the huge side. Uh, you could also maybe do another band up there. I'm not quite sure. I find this part a little bit plain, so I think it would look cute with a heart. So let's just try to add a little heart to it. Uh, sorry, I used voice for that, and my message was all wonky. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I do that all the time, just, just voice in messages and stuff, and, and often they get... A little distorted but I read I read that one fine I think I did so now let's go ahead and do like a little heart thing so ooh, let's just do our Mimi heart so we're gonna do that one and then that way and then we're just gonna do a little a little heart in the middle so let's go ahead and get the pen to do like the the round part this one here the little round part and just rotate it in a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit big, so now we can adjust it a little bit smaller. And it's coming along, there we go. And yeah, this might be more suitable for a pendant or, or something else because the ring is on the large side, but there might be a way to make it a little bit smaller too. So let's just go ahead and finish it and then at least it'll be done. 
whoops, and then we can try a fox before we go. So let's just check this out. Oh, it's cute with a heart. Okay, so now let's just bring this one in a little bit more. A little bit more. Just wiggle these around. It's hard when it's so small to get it uh, properly. Okay, so there's our little heart. And then we just have to decide how we want to do this. I'm just trying to think of what I could have done. Yeah, what I could have done is if the, my wire was longer, I could have like used this foot wire to do the heart here and then gone over to that foot wire. So that might have been a good option. If you guys cut a nice long piece of wire, you can do that. And then, but since we didn't do that, uh, why don't we just figure out how we can do this here? I mean, there's all kinds of ways I guess you can attach it. If you had looped it in there and there too, you could do that as well. Or we could just bend those up and put them maybe to the side would be better. Let's try that. So we're going to bring this one up here and bring that one up here. Bring that one up to that side. So now we have the heart. And I'm just going to grab another sip of water. Uh, Amanda says, you know the Powerpuff Girls heart would be so cute. Uh, anyone who doesn't, something, it's three or more hearts. Oh, I'd have to, I'll have to look that up. Power, Powerpuff um, hearts, girl hearts. I've never heard of that. Uh, have you ever made a heart ring? Yeah, I have some heart uh, ring tutorials on my channel. Hi, Lydia. So now let's try to attach this one on here. So that one would go on here. So maybe bring this wire to the back. And that might help to hold these in place too. So let's go ahead, bring this one up and up. And then we're going to help it out a little bit. So we're just going to, maybe we could even go out and up. And then this too, just like out a bit and up. I'm looking out my window because I'm expecting a delivery one day. I ordered some Lego and it's called, somebody tagged me on my comic Instagram for a Lego set that's a girl that looks just like me with a coffee cart. And so I'm waiting for it to come and I'm going to do a live stream on my Facebook a comic page uh, with me constructing this Lego set. So I'm very anxious for it to come in the mail. I'm excited. So hopefully that'll come soon. I'm not really one to build Lego, but I couldn't resist that one. So I will let you know how that goes. So here's the heart, and then we just need to uh, get it to stay in place. So if we're going to hold it, it ended up being a little bit actually smaller, the heart, than I thought it would be, but that's okay. So now let's just go ahead and bend it in. Maybe we should do another bend to help it out. How fun, yeah. Lego, I like toys. I like all kinds of, anything creative, you know. I am I just love any, like, craft kits and and fun stuff, you know. I, I, uh, I've always loved arts and crafts, so it's uh, anything artsy and crafty is, is my jam for sure. So now let's just go ahead and bring this one up and then over. And now we have to twist it in place. Are we twisting above or below? We twisted it above. So now let's just go ahead and bring that one through here. Bring it around. This one's quite elaborate. You don't have to do the heart, but I just found the really, I found the middle part to be a little bare, but I really think you can do that heart with the same wire. It's only because I've run out of wire that I'm doing it this way. And so now, sorry, I have to bring it up closer so I can see the detail. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay because I mean, can, you can also like bend it above this one if you want it like super solid, but I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, just do it like that. So now we're going to clip it. Okay. Oh, bye, Lydia. Uh, I want the Lego flower bouquet. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I don't, I haven't seen that one. I'm really not super familiar with Lego, but we do have a Lego store not far from us at the mall. 
and it's super fun. I went in to ask for this kit because, like I said, somebody tagged me in it, but it was a limited edition that you could only get uh, free for with purchase, and it was discontinued, so there was none left, so I couldn't have got it anyway. So I bought it on eBay, so that worked well. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get it because it's not available in stores anymore. But it's super cute. It's a coffee cart. And a, I swear the girl looks exactly like me. So it's very funny. And everybody knows I love coffee. So me and Clarice, right, Clarice? She's a, Clarice is a coffee lover too. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. So there we go. Yeah, I like the heart too. I think it really makes it look more finished. And... Um, and it's sweet. So like I said, if you can cut a longer piece of wire and do the heart with the same piece of wire, maybe from the bottom up, uh, you're gonna have to play around with it and see because sometimes adding too much wire gets a little complicated. Although this seems to be helping the wing to stay in place. So maybe it was meant to be, that's possible. And I've scratched my wire a little bit, but that's okay too, because these are samples. So now I think the I think the heart maybe is a little small and maybe a little high, but that's okay. Let's see if, I don't know if we can bring it down a little more or not. Maybe not. So I'm going to bring this one down a, a little bit if I can. And if not, it's not really a big deal, but that's the idea. So you have the idea with a little heart. It looks really cute. And then that would be sort of your ring very funky crazy ring so that's cool uh coffee lover yay i do have a coffee ring somewhere yeah yeah i do have a coffee ring and the heart looks beautiful awesome yeah ebay is off uh, ebay is fantastic for that so yeah so i thought about, about putting like little branches and stuff on there but that also might be overkill like if you got a separate wire you could do like little little green like branches this just to give you an idea of what it might look like with some like these are not the best branches but if you did have like a thinner green wire you can add some little branches to the um, to the owl as well so sky is the limit so now let's try a uh, fox because we're gonna run out of time don't tell my dad <laughs> so guys fox so Let's see what we should do with that. Maybe we'll just do a simple one. Uh, this one's cute too with like the, the, the fox with the tail type of thing. This one's adorable. Just a little tiny fox. I like him too. Um, or the face. So let's get some 20 gauge wire. And can we can paint the heart. Ooh, a heart bead too would be nice. Good idea. So I'm going to cut a little piece of this wire. I kind of just wanted to make this little guy. He's so cute. So why don't we just start with that? We'll just start with the make that little guy. Let's start with his tail. It's cute. So I'm just going to bend the wire here. It's a little bit like the top of the ice cream cone. Too much coffee. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I usually have one in the morning. Half Actually, I've started making half ones in the morning because that way I don't feel guilty having another one in the afternoon. So I usually have a half in the morning and then one in the afternoon. But my coffees are like espresso. They're not just like filtered filtered coffees. So they're uh, generally espresso coffee or Tim Horton coffee. I like Tim Horton coffee. It's uh, it's very addictive. I think they put something very addictive in it, but it's uh, it's delicious. So now this is our tail for the fox. Okay, so we're going to bring this one down here and then bring it across. And hopefully we don't run out of wire. This is also maybe a little bit on the big side. So let's try to, okay, let's try to rein this guy in a little bit. He's a little big. So now, okay, that goes there, that way, and that way. Okay, so that's like the tail. And then we're just gonna bring this one down, down there, and then do his little feet. It's almost this, exactly the same size. And there we go. He's tiny and I love him. Amanda loves cute little things. Probably because you have two cute little babies. Well, one's not a baby anymore, but your boys are adorable. And so now we are going to bring this one up here. And Mimi is the same. She loves anything cute. We were in the pharmacy the other day 
Actually, if you guys follow my comics, I wrote a comic about it because we're at the pharmacy the other day and she, every time we go to the pharmacy, she, every time we pass the travel, um, containers, like the travel products, travel size products, she just like is mesmerized and goes over and like stares at them forever. It's like these shiny objects, but they are cute. You got to admit travel size, uh, packages, travel size containers are adorable and um yeah so that's that's where she likes to go in the pharmacy so i was actually looking for a cuticle uh, uh cream just because my hands are so dry so i did find some so that was good so now here's the little foxy legs so let's do the other the other leg here and i love coffee but more dessert ah uh, hey yes ooh flavor cup with coffee with whipped cream i would not say no to that definitely there we go. And we're going to pinch this one. There we go. So there's his little legs. And then the hard part, of course, is going to be able to do this head. So it actually looks like anything. Uh, so maybe what we can do is do it with this wire. And I'm going to bend this. Hmm. If we bend it down, maybe. So, because we have to go like down and around. So let's bend this down. And then do a little pointy nose. So bend that one up. Okay, and then this one's gonna maybe form the ring. And then we need kind of the ear things. So now we're going to start here, I guess. Okay, bend that out a bit. And this one down, push it down. And then we wanna curve it up. Uh, thank you kindly. Yeah, three in June. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So now we're going to bring this one up and then we're going to form the other ear. This is super stylized. Bring this one down, push it. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit too small now. We're going to bring that one down. So this very, very stylized uh, fox, like that. And then what we would want to do to make a ring, we will want to bend one out. So we're going to bend this one out here. And then we're going to have to bend this one back up. Up. And then it's going to twist around here. So he's going to actually be going the other direction, I think. So that's our little fox. And let's move this. A uh, chess educator, I, I tried making your copper bracelet. Awesome, fantastic. Also a hummingbird. Um, cool, you made you made the hummingbird or you did uh, make with wire what gauges examples from Arizona. So uh, I did some sketches for the hummingbird. Uh, they're in the community section of my channel, but that would be a cute ring too to do a hummingbird ring. Uh, we did birds on the wire. But maybe I'll maybe I'll try to do a hummingbird ring too. And then we did the bees, of course, um, which were and I did a bee on a flower uh, that was Amber's inspiration, and um, somebody had suggested a hummingbird on the flower, so that would work with that design too. So there we go. It's cute, eh? Oh, little guy. Do, 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 do. There he goes. So now let us make the ring band. So there's. There's the little foxy, and then now we're gonna bring him around the ring band. So hold it there, bring this one around, and then bring it behind the tail, I think is gonna be the best way to connect it, so then it won't slip back and forth. And hold this in place, and there. So now we're gonna bring that one over here, and we will. And got a little pushed over, but that's okay. And just pull this down, give it a little tug, zoop, and then we are going to clip that, get in there, and then I'll do one more fox, and then we will be done. Our live strings have been going long for the um, for the rings, but that's okay. We're getting a lot done, which is great. And oh, I cut this a little short, maybe. Sorry, I have to bring it up closer to my eyes to see them. So we're going to push that one in here, close that up, and then we'll put it back on the ring cone. This one got a little small, but that's okay. Oh, it's a little fox. So now we're going to maybe bring this one over a little. 
and just always his head straight up. Very stylized, guys. So now, cute. Hi, Karina. There's a little foxy. Oh, he's cute. So there's Fox. And now let's do one more. Let's do one more and maybe just the face, okay? Let's do the face and then maybe another time I'll do this type of thing. But we've already done a body. So let's do the face and we'll get our 20 gauge wire again. Cut a little piece. Always better to cut too long than too short. Have another sip of water. Corey says, love the fox. Came face to face with one in my front door. Ooh. Yeah, we have foxes in our neighborhood too. I mean, we live in suburbia, but there's still foxes. Uh, recently though, in the past couple of years, we never had them before. And uh, yeah, they're pretty bold. Yeah, definitely. But I think they're harmless. Love them so much. Yay. Good. Nobody's complaining about the time. Yay. So now we are going to make a little loop for the nose. We can just start with the nose and see how we do. So we'll just do like a little loop. And then we want to bring that one up and up. Okay, we're going to probably use a couple of... Let me just think for a minute. I just want to think of how I want to do this. Because we could use a separate band for the ring, or we could use this wire. So I'm going to just take this and bring that one out and out. And let's just bend this across. Are these round? These are the round ones. Let's get the let's get the needle a needle nose. Um, now we are going to take this one and bring this one. I don't want it too big either. So let's bring this one there and then make it ear. And mm -mm -mm. here and then down again. Okay. And then we can go across again. Hopefully this is going to be a good size. And then straight up. Uh, maybe it has to be more space in there. Not sure. So straight up and then down. Down here. Yeah, I should have maybe made this part a little wider, but I can make it a little wider like that. And then that way, and then out here, if we go that way. I'm not sure this is a good shape, but I'm going to just try this for now. And these might be better if they were more pointy. So we can go in there and make them a little more pointy. This too, we can go in there and just make it a little more pointy. Okay. And then I'm not 100% sure of if I want to go in with a bigger wire or with the same wire. We go down and up and across that way. Or what if I want to do this one? Those go to there to there. Yeah, we could do that. So let's try this. And then we're going to like measure this one. Okay. Um, let's see if that's going to work. So we measure, looks a little long, so we're going to bring this one in. Yeah, this one, I think there's different ways you could do this. So if we're going to bring this one down and down here, let's see, and I don't know if I want to put it through that hole or not. Uh, Let's try to do some eyes because we can also do, I think these eyes are going to be too big though. If we do, I think someone said blue eyes for the fox and now I forget. But if we do eyes, they're going to be a little bit big. Yeah, I don't think those are going to work. So let's just make them out of wire. Uh, Hutchington, Kansas. Cool. So... Arlita, that's a pretty name. Nice. 
Thank you. Thanks for hopping on the live stream. So now let's just go ahead and bring this one. I think we're just going to make like little stylized eyes. So let's just go here. Uh, these are my round ones. Maybe we'll use the needles ones, or they're actually called tweezer nose pliers, this one, and then down. Okay, so this is like, the eye's a little funny, but that's okay. And then what we can do is, I guess we can put it in that hole. Otherwise, we could just bend it straight up. I don't think I want to put it in that hole, so I'm gonna, you could put it in the hole, or you can just like bend it up like this, uh, and then this one straight across here. Okay, and then I think I want to bend it to the back, so I'm gonna have to like lift it out. Okay, bend it to the back a little bit. There. And then try to get it up here without like destroying it. Okay, bring that up behind. Okay, there. Yeah, well, we're gonna bring that up behind. So that, the eyes might be like slightly distorted, but I like to put the wire to the front and then to the back. So it looks a little bit more symmetrical and then bring that one back. Uh, oh, thanks for hanging out for so long, Amanda. My goodness, it's not easy for you with two little ones. So I really appreciate that. That's awesome. And can't wait to see more of your beautiful creations. So now, uh, this one, I'm not quite sure if that's working out quite well, but that's, it gives you an idea of that, what sort of thing you can do. It actually, his nose looks funny now. He kind of looks like, it kind of looks like a mouth. So I'm not 100% convinced about the nose situation. Maybe I want to make it even smaller. Let's just see what we can do to make that nose a little bit smaller because it looks like he's, it looks like Edward munches the scream and the fox is screaming. So we don't want that. So let's just bring this one around. I'm going to make it smaller, like really smaller and see if it helps. So now we're going to bring this one around here Hopping to land back in Kingman soon. Hmm. Okay, so now we are going to bring this one around and finish this up. So this is what we've got so far. Yeah, it's a little strange, but we're just going to play around with it. So this one too looks like it's not super even. So we're going to bring that one up a little bit. Um, not quite working how I planned, a little wobbly, but what I'll do is I'll maybe work on this a little more and uh, and put an updated version in the group, although this isn't too, too bad. So this is like sort of, so far, um, definitely the shape needs work. The shape's a little bit odd, but you have an idea for design-wise. Okay, I'm gonna just try to fix this one up so it's a little bit wider too. Make bring that one out a little bit more. And that one too. It's a little wobbly, but that's the idea, is just to do something like that. And then you can make the um the ring band. So let's bring that one in and and then, okay, we're going to bend that one out that way. And then this one, this one ended up being maybe a little bit too wide. So let's just bring that one up after all. Okay, and bring that one that way. And then we're going to bring this one over a little more. Yeah, he's not the best shape, but he's not too bad. So cute and so much better than what I could do. Aw, thank you. It's at least you got the idea. You know, the design, that's the thing about the live streams. I like to give you guys like the design idea. And then if you can more successfully create, create the shapes and I'll work on it and make templates for them so it'll be easier to trace. 
but that's just sort of the concept of the design. I'm not sure about this. I might have wanted it to go like actually through that hole, but for now it's okay. And then with the, for the ring part, I guess we'll just use the same um, wire to make the rings. Otherwise you could do the thing. You could do the thing, you know, that thing that we do with the, the rings to make and sell where you just take a band and you bring it around. Okay, so we're gonna do this and uh, make a mouse or a raccoon. Yeah, you could do a raccoon. It looks actually more like a raccoon than a fox. You're right about that. So why don't we just say I made a raccoon? <laughs> no, that's okay. So now we're gonna take this one and then take this one here. And you can just, because we don't want it to be too wide, so why don't we just go ahead and make these loops more vertical than horizontal so they're not like taking up too much width. And we're going to clip that and bring that one in here. Pinch that in there. And then this side too. So we're going to take this one and bring it around and clip that one here and pinch that one in. So these are usually the rings to make and sell. I do them flat, but I'm going to bring it like more up and then it's not going to take so much room. So we're going to go there, there and there. So those, that's the, baseline for the ring and then these are a little too long so but what I would do is stick these in here so this one in here and then this one in this side and you know what to get them in I'm going to just like bend them in this way so they're going to go in better so let's put this one first and then this one in here you can also do a contrasting band I like the bands on 18 gauge wire. They're just a little bit stronger. So we're gonna push this one in here. The face is getting a little bit distorted now. So maybe that wasn't the best idea, but this is what I was thinking. But now I'm seeing this maybe is not the best idea, but we're gonna see. So if that goes in here and then you wind it around, we can try it. Okay, so there, and then we're gonna just bring this one and bring it through here. So we're gonna bring that one in here, bring it in a little bit, see if it's gonna hold its shape. Yep. And then trim that. Uh, the bunny, yes, yeah, we did a bunny. Yeah, we've done quite a few, quite a few. I did, I did a tutorial for a dog. So there's, yeah, we have quite a few animals done which is uh, fun. And then I still have a few on my list. So, and I'll probably work on the fox a little more. So that one's there. This one is here. So let's just bring this one in too. And here a couple of times. There and there. Perfect. And we'll give it a little clip. And pinch that one in a little bit. So yeah, you could either make the band with the uh, wire, the fox wire, or you can do an 18 gauge wire band. This ends up being a little bit large. So if this one is too far apart, you just, you can tighten it up. You can just take this and like rotate it a bit and that'll bring it in a little bit more. So that's a little hack. And then this one too, see if it's in a good place. Should be all right. Maybe bend it a little bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's kind of cute. So let's put it back on the ring. A horse, yes. I did the, I've done a unicorn ring that would it would be the, exactly the same for the horse head. Um, but I can also redo, I can also redo the horse. Here's the sketch. So 
Here's the horse head and then the unicorn with the beads. So I did do a live stream for that a uh, long time ago. So that one you can find. But the horse, just the horse would be good too. So here is the fox. A little wobbly, but I'm going to, I'll redo them. So, and then let's show you guys all what we did. We did the owl. Okay. And then we did uh, this owl. We did this owl. Let me know which is your favorite. And we did the cute fox, cute fox, and then we did the ice cream cones. So let me know which is your favorite. I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye. I'll take photos and put them in the, um, oh, thank you, Amber, for finding that. That's great. Yeah, perfect. So let me flip the screen. Do, 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 do. Wow, thank you guys for staying on for so long. That was a long one. Thank you so much. And we'll do more rings next week. Uh, uh, Saturday I have uh, one last tutorial for the bee, all made out of wire. And we'll do another Let's Get Wired sometime soon. That was really fun. And if you want to join Slack, I'll post pictures of these on Slack and also in the Wire Makers Club. Uh, thank you, Clarice and Amber, for always helping out with moderating the chat, and Mustafa, who had to leave, but always appreciate you guys being here. Uh, be sure to share photos of your stuff in the Wire Makers Club. If you don't have Facebook, uh, go to Slack, or if you don't have any of those, you can email me photos of your work at info at heatherboydwire.com. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for hopping on every week. It's so much fun, so much inspiration, and have an amazing rest of the day, rest of the night. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.